Hello friends, today we are going to see a demo of uh, Max ERP for jewelry wholesale businesses. So we'll just start with the demo. Let's start with the masters first. Uh, in the masters we can create couple of customers, we can create a few suppliers, uh, we can maintain complete end-to-end -end, uh, financial accounting with GST filing in Max ERP for jewelry wholesale businesses along with their uh, inventory and accounts management with all the calculations and the difficulties involved in man managing the inventory. So we'll start the customers first. Uh, let's say we create a customer saying Shanti Jewelers. So you can again subgroup your customers like premium clients or outstation clients or friends, relatives kind of thing. And based on that you can gener generate your outstanding reports or your profit reports, your sales report. So each of this customer can have n number of billing shipping addresses. You can even search the customer by their mobile number or by their GST number. And uh, we can just quickly save this for now. Similarly, we'll create one more customer saying, let's say, nail controls. So once we have created a customer, we'll create a couple of suppliers to uh, our vendors. So let's say Mahalakshmi. After creating vendors, we'll create uh, general ledger hits. So anything which is other than your customers and suppliers, that will get uh, added into the general ledgers. So basically your Sunday data and creators, apart from those, all the accounting heads will come under the general ledger. So here we have all the other accounting groups, wherein we have bank accounts, cash account, capital accounts, loans and advances, partner capital accounts, everything which is required for complete financial accounting, all the accounting heads are available here. So let's say we just create a couple of accounting heads uh, saying it's office expenses. So you can just mention exp under uh, the account group expenses in direct. Same way we can create our bank account, let's say HDFC bank. We can link it into the bank account here. Similarly, rentals, capital account, whatever is uh, being used in your business, those heads can be created here. And you can manage the complete financial accounting from here. After this, uh, we can create different salesperson who are involved in our business operations. So, this salesperson can be used while billing and you can generate uh, some commission reports based on the sales made by each of uh, the salesperson. So, let's say we just create a couple of salesperson saying SP1. Then we can create products here. So, we just have some predefined products created here for the demo so we, we can just see those so here we have a product called frames and gift pack uh, these are general products doesn't have anything related to weight so they come in numbers and they go in numbers so we have just created frames and we have grouped them under others the stock account for their, them is also other stock account and they come in numbers and we just define some selling rate here we can even define minimum quantity to avoid uh, understocking as well as you can define maximum quantity to avoid overstocking you get automatic alerts if the stock goes below the minimum quantity or stock goes beyond the maximum quantity and you can define your reorder level quantity also here along with the lead time lead time is something wherein once you place the order it takes that many days for the goods to arrive at your store and you can save this so likewise frames we have a similar product called gift pack then we have a product for gold necklace. So under gold necklace, uh, we have defined the print name as gold necklace, the group name under gold ornaments. The stock account that we have mentioned here is gold stock. If you have both silver and gold inventory together, if you're dealing with both gold and silver uh, business, then you have to make sure that you define the correct uh, stock account for the gold products separately and the silver products separately. So the unit name is grams and we have an option of defining the default touch that will be used for billing for this product. So whenever you choose gold necklace, the default touch will be 90. That as per the defined the masters. We even have an option to fetch the weight from weighing skill while billing. So if you take this, it will ask for the weight. Instead of uh, allowing you to type the weight, it will, it will start fetching the weight from the weighing scale while you do the billing. And the rest of the information we have not enabled the GST taxes here in this demo, so we are not getting the GST and the HSN code details. 
otherwise we have end to end gst uh, related compliances uh, inbuilt in the software so after gold necklace we can have we have a product called hallmark so just for like a making charges so we may just maintaining this as a making charges on the stock account we have take something do not maintain inventory for this product here so there won't be any inventory management it is just for your making charges purposes which can be used while billing and we have mentioned a default sales rate of 100 for this uh pure gold and pure silver are some default products uh, which are there in the software so these are fixed and cannot be removed and then we have silver rings so silver rings we have uh, grouped under sil silver ornaments and stock account we have defined as silver stock account uh, with a default touch of 80 so this is how we create all the products here if you have all your customers vendors and products in an excel uh, format we can quickly import all the data in the software uh using this data import module which is available in max so after creating products uh, we will start with uh, the next menu we can create different price lists in the software for example uh, price lists for premium clients wholesale clients or your dealers or corporates uh, and define different touch or making charges per piece or quantity as required so let's say we just create a premium price list here and we can define this that this pricing is for products and we can just display all the products here so for this products what should be the default uh, selling rate or the charges involved you can just define all this here so let's suppose the gold necklace for premium clients in the masters we have defined a touch of 90 let's say for premium clients it should be 100 and for your silver rings it should be again 85 you can just define as 95 making charges can be per gram or per piece or can be on the rounded amount let's say we define a per piece making charge of 100 rupees here uh, let's say 150 200 for gold and 100 for silver and we can save this so once we save the premium price list uh, we can even link this pricing directly to the customer masters so once we select a customer let's say nilkan jewels so we can just edit and pre link it in the master level itself for specific customers so here we have selected the premium prices for this customer and we save this so whenever we bill nail gun automatically the prices of premium will get associated and the billing will happen as per the uh, touch and the wastage uh, and the making charges that are defined in the premium price list so after the masters uh, we can go with other menus so all the menus are pretty simple here uh, we have sales right from sales order we have a approval option available here so if you are giving goods on approval basis you can send an approval chalan you can directly create sales invoice or you can take a sales return in case if we are giving an approval and parcel goods are coming back you can even have an option of uh, return chalan option available here so all the menus have first half is of the menu is uh, transactions and second half of the menu is reports same is the case with purchase the first half is of for transaction second half is for reporting in the masters we are not defining anything with the opening stock or opening balances so you can enter the opening balances in the accounts menu here where we can define uh, customer wise opening amount balance uh, and the metal gold and silver balances uh, for individual customer that to bill wise similarly in the inventory we can define the opening stock available here with us or we can even import all this opening balances and opening stock from excel so for this demo now we will quickly start with the purchase option and purchase we can have right from purchase order we can either take a purchase on approval basis also and we can always have a track of pending purchase orders or pending purchase challan but for now we'll just uh, enter a purchase quickly so here we'll just enter the supplier invoice number the date of entry the actual invoice date whether it's a cash purchase or a credit purchase it's asking the invoice amount as per the supplier's bill at the beginning so let's say we have an invoice amount 10000 and it is even asking the pure weight that is there in the bill so let's say a pure weight of uh, 2000 grams or 2 kg and let's say we are buying it from mahalakshmi jewelers so it says there's a mobile and email missing for this vendor and the current outstanding of the vendor will be shown here uh, all gold silver as well as uh, amount balance will be displayed here outstanding so we will take a product called gold necklace first how many pieces let's say we are buying 20 pieces of uh, 2500 grams with a touch of 80 and If you're doing any rate cut, you can define the rate cut here. Uh, customer wise, I mean supplier wise, product wise, previous supply rate history is also being shown here. The current old balance of the 
vendor and the old gold and the old silver balance plus the current bill uh, totals will keep uh, getting loaded at the bottom dynamically so let's say we are not doing any rate cut and we are putting a making charges per piece or per gram however you want or you can even put a direct making charge amount of 10,000 years if you mention it per piece it's a hundred rupees it, it brings up to 2000 years similarly we can buy other on products here and once we are done with this if there are any expenses that has to be configured we can even configure the expenses and the discount and the purchase voucher now here is a summary of the bill where if you want any gold rounding also we have an option of gold pure balance rounding silver rounding also is available so in the current bill the gold pure gold is 2000 and that is what is the total bill total is also 2000 amount so gold total as well as bill total so we can even have we can just change it here for so we have it uh, 3000 as the amount and if you have any other remarks you can mention the remarks against the bill and you can save it so once we try to save it says amount does not match with the supplies invoice amount so here we have mentioned the amount as 10000 but our bill amount value is only 3000 so we will just change this temporarily so this way if even there is a single making charges missed or any product is missed in the bill or any expenses has been missed out or any weight or quantity has been mismatched or wrongly entered all these cases will get uh, blocked here and you will not be able to save the voucher unless it's accurate so this way you'll have 100 percent accuracy during purchase let's say you just save this okay after saving we have an option for adjustments uh, which we will see during sales even while purchase if you are giving some old gold to the supplier even those adjustments can be done using this pop-up but we will see this adjustment details uh, in the sales screen so once we have done this purchase you can directly go to inventory and we can go to stock summary and you can just click show so it says we have a gold necklace of gross weight of 2500 net weight is again 2000 and fine weight is also 2000 we will take one more uh, purchase from for silver ornaments let's say Lakshmi jewelers silver rings let's say 100 pieces weighing around let's say 1 kg of let's say this so here the pure weight has to be 750 and amount is 5000 and yes sir so once this purchase is saved uh, we come back to the stock report again and we can see that under the gold ornaments we have this stock and under the silver ornaments we have this one single product here so both the gross and the net weight can be seen on a single screen uh, post this we can even drill into the reports and we can just press enter and see from where it has come inward at what rate or what is the detail you can just press enter again and get into the transaction details after the purchase and inventory will just uh, go to the sales part of it so either you can give details I mean you can take in sales orders or you can even provide estimates using this performer invoice or you can give the goods on approval basis first we'll see an example of a direct sales uh, and then we'll see an example of goods being given on an approval basis so let's say we go for sales invoice credit sales to Nilkant so once we select Nilkant jewelers the premium price list comes automatically on screen here we have three options here whether we are selling product or we are just billing and making charges like hallmark charges or something and third we have an option of return bar metal so in case we are any adjusting any uh, return against the bill we can as a line item itself we can enter this for now we'll just take a product and we'll just select uh, silver rings let's say 20 silver rings are being given a weight of 200 grams any less you want to mention any stone charges so you can define like 10 grams of stone charges less and then uh, a touch of 95 which is there for premium clients for silver rings is got loaded automatically as well as the making charges of 100 rupees got loaded automatically so any rate cut if you want to do you can do and uh, you can even select a gold necklace let's say 5 pieces for 500 grams with a touch of 100 as per the premium price list you can alter the touch if you want and 200 rupees was the making charge and once we are done with this uh, we can directly uh, if you have any other expenses or discount if you want to provide you can provide cash discount percentage uh, the summary of the bill of gold and the silver is being shown here and the total amount of the bill is being shown here 
you are even able to see the summary on the screen at the bottom the old balance of the vendor as a customer and the current bill adjustments so we can just go for the adjustment option here or we can directly save the transaction once we go to the adjustment uh, it says the old amount old gold and old silver the current bill amount due the gold due and the silver due the adjustments that we are making here right now and the balance left so we'll see the parallel effect of this in the accounting part of uh, of the customer on the accounting ledgers of the customer so let's say we are first receiving an amount or let's say cash is in 4000 rupees and we just save this and we save the transaction here once we click print uh, it will even generate a preview for the voucher so the preview print can be either in uh, a4 full size format or a4 half or a4 quarter format uh, with the clear details on what has been less and what is the touch making charges and the rate for the so we can have the pure weight of the bill the total gross weight and the amount value at the bottom this can be sent over whatsapp this can be sent over sms as a pdf link you can even email it to the customers directly and you can even export in different formats so we'll go back to the previous bill again and parallelly we'll just open the accounts ledger reports and we'll just select the customer neil kanjolis so it says opening balance was nil and then as on this date we have bill number 1 with the amount of 3000 rupees gold debit is 500 grams and silver is 180.500 grams so you have a very clear picture of uh, amount balance gold and silver segregation across all the screens now you can even see your accounts and you can go to outstanding and bills receivable and you can still see that you have all the bills receivable and payable coming here so neil can tell us we have an amount balance of 2000 and gold balance of 500 and silver balance of 180.500 so we'll we have received cash of 1000 rupees against the same bill so we have the current outstanding amount is 2000 gold and silver balance remains as such so we'll see the other adjustment options that we have here so we'll just edit the bill again and we go to adjustments let's say we are doing a <coughs> gold rate cut so when we do a gold rate cut let's say we are do, doing a rate cut of out of 500 grams of gold that we have due here we are using 200 grams for rate cut with a rate of let's say Four thousand rupees. So this becomes so this adds a value of eight lakh rupees to the amount on the bill. So two hundred grams of the gold has been adjusted. Three hundred is left, and same way amount of eight lakh has been added. And we had this eight lakh out of which thousand has been already adjusted. Our total due is eight lakh two thousand. Now in case of the we are receiving another pay of we can okay we'll just save this. Save this transaction again and see the effect on the ledger. So we have got eight lakh rupees added in the amount outstanding. Total amount due is eight lakh two thousand. Again, a gold credit has been adjusted, so two hundred grams of gold has been reduced. No effect on the silver still. We'll again go back to the same bill and do other adjustment options. we can even have a gold rate cut again with a different rate that's another 100 grams been deducted at uh, 4200 so this gets added another value is getting added for the gold rate cut and the bill value outstanding increases same way we can even have a silver multiple silver rate cut also so out of 180.5 grams let's say 80.5 is being adjusted at a rate of 400 rupees or let's say 500 rupees and we can save this transaction again the effect of this will be shown in the ledgers so another gold rate cut of 4 lakh 20 thousand rupees 100 grams of gold have got deducted so we have done a rate cut at two different rates and the description is clearly mentioned here 100 uh, grams at 100 touch at 4800 rupees has been adjusted same is the case for the silver rate cut now silver outstanding is 100 grams and gold outstanding outstanding is 200 grams now if we are receiving any old gold from the customer 
even that option is available wherein we can just mention gold receipt and we can mention pure gold or kacha and uh, let's say we are receiving a gold for uh, 50 grams with touch of 80 and if we are mentioning the rate here it will be considered as a purchase and if you don't mention the rate here it will just have an impact on the gold stock in either case it will have impact on the gold stock but uh, you can see the effect here with both of this example so now uh, a gold of another 40 grams have been adjusted we have received the gold and 160 gram of gold is outstanding this will directly have an impact on the stock summary also wherein pure gold of 50 grams as a gross weight and the net is 40 grams that has been adjusted added to the stock value now coming back to the same bill again we will take another gold receipt of pure gold of another let's say 50 grams at touch of 100 with a rate of uh, let's say 4100 now as we have mentioned the rate this time so it says 2002 lakh 5000 is the amount payable it, it's kind of a gold purchase that we have made there's no adjustment in the gold stock value if you see the stock remains as such but amount has been added and the stock would have got added in your inventories so 100 grams of gross weight and 90 grams of gold pure weight is there so in the bill itself it would it's kind of like a purchase that we have made from the customer if you mention the rate it's going to it will be considered as a purchase if you don't mention the rate then we are just assuming the old gold to the stock same way we have an option of old silver receipt so you can just mention any silver receipt that you have let's say 40 grams of silver saved at touch of 80 and we just save this so now coming to the ledger again we have 32 grams of silver being received silver outstanding being 68 grams and gold outstanding being 160 grams so the single transaction itself all the adjustments can be done while sales and we can get all these adjustments detail printed on the customers bill in a very clear way for them to understand it easily as well as the ledgers are a very detailed way so it can show the complete transaction details very clearly to all your clients let's say we take another sales for shanti jewelry let's say we just buy okay we are selling silver rings the 10 numbers 100 grams see there is no price is selected so default touch of product master I have got loaded here let's say we just save this with these details so now customer has a thousand rupees of uh, amount value when we see the ledger of uh, it says Shanti Jewelry. So it says there's a amount value of thousand by outstanding and silver balance of eighty as a debit outstanding. Coming back to your bills uh, report, bills receivable. It says uh, Shanti Jewelry's one bill due for this much amount is the balance and the gold and the silver balance is being shown. The so gold balance is nil. Silver we have a balance of eighty grams. We will see an example of uh, goods on approval also. So let's say we put a delivery challenge here first. Okay, so once we select Subhumangal Jewelers, here we can directly mention the goods that we are giving on uh, approval basis. Let's say 20 pieces of this have been given at weight of 200 grams, it won't touch of this. Making charges per piece, let's say 100 rupees. And we go to necklace, 5 pieces of 500 grams. And you can just save so once this is saved uh, it will directly have an impact on your inventory wherein your gold necklace stock would have got reduced your silver ring stock would have got reduced you can even see the detailed stock summary here which will show you opening inward outward and closing so there was no opening you can see this for a particular date in like for this week or this month 
or any specific data range, custom data range that you want. So total inward that has happened and total outward that has happened and the closing stock available. You can press enter and check the details. So even the sales chalan of Sumangal jewels have also been shown here that you have given the goods for gold necklace for 500 grams with 90 touch. You can always track your pending chalans here. So we have an option of pending chalans and this can show you with product details. So for Sumangal jewels we have two products given with the weight details. So 200 grams and 500 grams has already been given as a gross weight and the complete amount is complete product is pending so in case if there's any partial return you can just go for this value return chalan and you can just select sumangal jewels so all the pro products given on approval basis will get loaded here so you can just mention how many uh, how much weight is being written back the silver ring of around let's say 120 grams is being written and gold of 300 grams is being written. So you can just save this one again. Coming back to your pending chalan report now. So it will show you pending you have 80 grams on this and 200 grams of this is yet to be built. The written chalan weight would have got added to your stock again. So if you see your gold necklace is 1500 grams here now and after the adjustment it will be 1800 grams is available. Again, once you press enter, it says uh, a chalan was given and a return has happened. For the sales chalan, you got a return back on the same day. Now you can convert your uh, sale chalan to invoice directly. As you open the chalan, you just click make invoice here. It will automatically convert the chalan to invoice with the pending quantity only. So it automatically brings the quantity of 80 and 200, which is yet to be built. Alternatively, you even have an option of converting multiple chalans to a single sales invoice. So if you have given multiple goods on approval and you want it to be converted to a single invoice, then you can just select the customer name here. It will load all the pending chalans uh, on a single pop-up. And here you can select multiple chalan products in for to be imported and built in a single invoice. So let's say we just build it 80 and 200 here and we are importing and is saving this. Now coming to your sales register, you can always see the total sales report and you can see bill wise uh, total amount, gross weight, net weight for individual products aggregated. So gold stock is being shown separately and the silver stock is being shown separately. So this will be easy for you to reconcile your day end operations and the pure balance and the charge weight for the each bill is being shown here. You have a lot of summary options here wherein you can just see your group summary of total sales of different ornaments with quantity or gross and the net weight can also be shown together or just the amount also can be seen. So you have multiple reporting options here when you can just uh, check your taxes, you can see columnar product group by sales, so each bill what was the gold, ornament by sales and all the details can be seen here. On the accounts part, now we have seen the bills receivable and payable. So all the bills received, pending bills will be shown in a single screen. Lakshmi Jewelers, Mahalakshmi Jewelers, your customers all are being displayed here with their amount and the current gold and silver outstanding balances. You can go to uh, uh, even see the trial balance or the data list and the data list separately. Once you see trial balance also, you have three columns for amount debit credit, gold debit and credit, silver credit, debit credit. So you have a very clear trial balance here for each of your accounts. Now for your customers when uh, you are receiving the payments. So you can just go to accounts and select receipts. So receipt by cash or if you have receiving by bank you can just select a bank account here. Whether you are receiving a direct amount or you are receiving gold or you are receiving an amount to gold. We have three options available here. Let's say we will see all three examples here. So amount balance we will just select for Neil Kant Jewelers. So there is amount balance of 10,57,250 outstanding. And let's say if the customer says uh, he is paying 57,000 right, right now with the 250 rupees discount expected during the receipt. So you can just mention 57,000 here. And against which bill it, it is being adjusted we can select the bill. We even have an option of discount column available here. So you can just mention 250 rupees as a discount and you can save this. 
any remarks if you want to write against the receptor you can just mention the remarks and say this so again coming back to the ledger of uh, neil kanjolas when you see the ledger of neil kanjolas it is showing you the bill details and then we have a cash receipt of 57000 so the amount was on 10 lakh 250 with uh, no effect on gold and silver balances same way we had a trade discount of 250 rupees so current outstanding is 10 lakhs rounded now we'll see another example of uh, gold receipt from neil kanjolas so again coming back to gold outstanding is 160 grams so what gold are we how much uh, grams let's say we are selling a 60 grams of gold at a 100 touch so again so which bill it is being adjusted is also being so we are adjusting the gold balance all the metal related balances bills will be shown here so you can adjust it against the respective bill so we have adjusted against this bill if we are doing a rate cut we can just mention the rate value here and if it's just a metal receipt we can just directly press enter and save it so we have received the gold now and we can again go back to the ledgers of neil kanjolas and see the effect so we have received a gold stock of 60 grams on the receipt number 2 and gold have got affected 100 grams of gold is outstanding silver is 68 grams pending and uh, this would have even got back added to your stock also so 60 grams of gold would have got added to your inventory right now we'll see another example of uh, gold rate cut while receipt so let's say another 40 grams of gold at 100 touch is being adjusted against the same bill and uh, at a rate of let's say 4200 Let's say 4,500. So the amount value is 1 lakh 80 thousand rupees, and out of this 180, if the customer pays just 80 thousand for now, so you can just mention the after rate cut, the value is 1 lakh 80 thousand due, and customer is paying 80 thousand for now, and we are just saving this against. So this amount balance is also being adjusted. This is basically additional amount, so it's not adjusted against the bill. Uh, it is additional gold balance which is getting added. Uh, sorry amount balance which is getting added to your customers outstanding so again coming back to the ledger of neil kan jewelers so we have a receipt number of 3 with 180000 amount getting added and a 40 grams of gold which is happened due to rate cut so 40 grams of gold is getting deducted no effect on the silver balance and then we have received a cash of 80000 from this 180000 so total outstanding is 11 lakhs as of today similarly we have other adjustment options here wherein if the customer pays an amount and asks us to convert that much amount worth to gold and adjust the gold balance we have this option of amount to gold similarly we have an option for a silver rate a silver receipt or a silver rate cut along plus amount to silver options or we can have that adjustment pop up uh, coming with we wherein we can do any kind of adjustments during the receipt bar payment too similarly while we go to accounts and we make the payment uh, we have an option of making the payment via cash uh, whether we are paying amount or we are paying gold we are paying amount to gold again similar for the silver so let's say we are paying for office expenses so all the even expenses can be tracked here let's say for final rupees towards tea coffee expenses that can be entered we can make make a payment to the vendor saying mahalakshmi jewelers the current outstanding is 3000 rupees we are just settling the complete amount the bill is getting adjusted so here vendor and customer bill to bill transactions are being tracked and when when you see the ledger of mahalakshmi jewelers right so the so opening was nil as on this day we have purchased and a gold value of 2000 grams pending with a 3000 rupees amount pending we have made a payment of the amount right now gold is still pending same way you can just go to gold again select mahalakshmi jewel pure gold of 500 grams is being paid at touch of let's say 90 so we are adjusting this again coming back to mahalakshmi jewelers ledger uh, we have adjusted a gold pure gold payment of 450 grams so current outstanding is uh, 1550 so all this directly has an impact on inventory as well as accounts in parallel So after ledgers we can even see a couple of uh, useful reports that we have here so under accounts we have an option of uh, miscellaneous metal day book so this will show us the complete uh, transactions where the conversions have happened so under gold we have a receipt of 
40 grams with rate cut so and there's no nothing on the debit side so this way we can always have a track of uh, the total difference of stocks where we had rate cut being done at the end of the day so this way you can reconcile your day and then plan on the refilling of the stock at the end of the day seeing the differences that we have other than this we have a special report called daily activities so this report will show us the complete transaction of the day wherein uh, the total gold ornaments purchase and sales and the stock left basically we have the received weight and the issued weight silver ornaments details here the boolean conversions that has happened for the day it will, it will come in the boolean book you have the cash book at the bottom you can even uh, filter the specific book and you can just see the details on the boolean book we have different transactions that has happened and and different rates apart from this we even have an option of uh, jobber issue and jobber receipts uh, in case if you have this achari based uh, smith based work where you are issuing gold for any kind of designs and receiving it back so along with we have option for multi branch data sync of options so that you can even scale up your business across multiple branches and with a lot of add ons for whatsapp and sms and mobile apps too so thanks a lot for watching this video i hope you like this video and stay tuned great day